In this feature, we will learn about a very cool trick in Microsoft Excel called Autocomplete. Suppose you have a list of names in a column and you try to add the same name again. You will see that Excel recommends you the name. If you press the Alt key with the down arrow button, you will also get a drop down list. Now note what happens if I leave a cell blank in between. Now if I try to enter A, I do not get the autocomplete option. The reason is that Excel does not think that these cells are linked in any way. Now you can artificially create a path between these two cells by putting some cells or some text in these cells near to it. You can see that the autocomplete option appears now. Now that you have got a basic idea, let us look at a more concrete example. Say you have a list of sports. Say you want the user to enter a sport from this list. So you want to ensure that the user enters only one sport which is already present in this list. You can see that because cell M3 is not linked to the list of sports below, you are not able to get the autocomplete option. So if you are going to create a path from M3 to this list by putting some random text in between. And now you can see that when I try to enter archery or any other sport or use the alt and down arrow keys, you will get a list of all the sports to choose from. Now you might ask, what if I have to enter data in a sheet that is different from the sheet in which this list is present. Now in such a case, all you need to do is go to the original list, copy it by using the Ctrl C option and come back to the sheet in which you want to enter the data and paste it anywhere in this sheet. But this time when you right click, you choose the paste link option. Now the paste link option ensures that anytime you update anything in your source list, the values in this destination list get updated automatically. Now we'll try to create a path between cell A2 where I want to enter this data and this list. But you will see that doing so does not always work reliably. Now it seems that copying this list to a different column does not always give you the autocomplete option. So it would be best to copy your source list and paste a link to it in the same column as the column in which you want to enter your data. So I am going to copy my list and I am going to paste a link to it in the same column that is column A. And now you can see that when I do alt down arrow key, I am getting the list of options to choose from. Now you might not always want to show your user this list. So you can hide the items in the list by hiding those cells or by changing the font color to make those cells transparent. So you can see that I can no longer see the list but I can still get the autocomplete option. I hope you find this information useful. If you did, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you get a notification whenever I upload a video. Thank you and take care.